Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Tanya Vital. I am an actor, content creator, live streamer, gamer. I'm going to teach you how to get a free stream deck using either your just your, your computer, your iPad, your mobile, I think you can use it on, or you can actually use this program on a stream deck. But if you're tight like me, or you broke and can't afford a stream deck, um, this is a really good substitute and I find it a lot easier than the Leoran board. And I'll show you why next. Rattle. So if like me, you've um, heard of the Leoran board, um, a Leoran board again is a stream deck alternative. Um, it's an open source program that you can use. Uh, I don't think you can use it on iPad actually. Um, you couldn't when I looked at it. It can only be used on an Android tablet. Um, but it's basically like a stream deck. Um, you know, you get your touch screen buttons and you can program your buttons and use it for, you know, ease of changing scenes and adding overlays, muting mics, all that kind of stuff. Um, and this is really handy, this kind of thing for me. Most It's handy for most gamers, but it's handy for me because a lot of my live streaming is shows. So I'll do actor showcases or artist showcases and there'll be a lot of scenes and there'll be a lot of overlays with names and a lot of changing things and moving around. And I've been doing it for the longest time with my, my mouse and just, you know, scrolling through sources. Um, and, you know, th that works. But also, let's try and make our life a little bit easier, yeah? So the Leoran board I looked at and I thought it was, when I first saw it, I thought it was amazing and it is amazing. But a lot of the stuff you have to program yourself, you have to code yourself. So all the buttons um the codes are available but you have to go and look for all the codes and then input the codes whereas the app that i'm going to show you next which is the companion app um it already has a lot of that already done for you and it's all just about choosing from a drop down menu which is amazing for me it's idiot proof just for me so let's get into it uh let's call it the companion stream deck Here we go, Companion Bitfocus AS. So I've downloaded and installed all this and then done all my buttons and then taken it all away just to show you guys. So here we go. Companion Bitfocus AS. Yes, we agree to cookies. All right, so what we're gonna need to do, um, look here, it says it enables a reasonably priced Elgato Stream Deck to be a professional shot box surface. Um, but we don't have an Elgato Stream Deck because we can't afford it or you know we've got things to pay for like bills and shit so we're going to download the companion app look it says here you don't need an actual stream deck to use it all right here we go let's download so here you're gonna have to um sign up log in i've already signed up so i just need to log in and then we're going to download it for windows because i'm using a pc And you'll see in the bottom left that it's already started downloading. Alongside this, if you're using OBS like I am, you're gonna need your OBS WebSockets download as well. Your WebSocket plugin, which you can get from the OBS website and I'll put a link in below. All right, is it ready do we think? Here we go. So now um, it's um, asking if I give it permission to install and of course I do. And I'm just gonna use the default location for now, but you can change the location of where you want it here, obviously, install. So we're gonna finish set up and run companion. Now again, if you want this to work with OBS, you need the WebSockets plugin for OBS. So here, this is where we link it up to our IP address, right? So I'm um, plugged in with Ethernet, so I'm gonna choose Wired here, or you can choose Localhost, try which one works for you. And I'm gonna launch GUI. Now, before I do that, you see this? 
This is the URL that you can then put into your um, iPad or mobile or whatever device you're using um, to, to to be your virtual stream deck. Um, you need this, this IP address here. Also, if you don't know where your IP address is, you can come to, um, and you're on a PC, you can come to the bottom left here and you can type in network. Now, if you see, it's brought up my network status and I'll go to properties. And if you go down, you look at the IP4 address here. This is the IP, my IP address, and it will be the same as that URL number that was given before. So that's where you can just copy and paste it in if you if you need to. So we're gonna run. I've got my little iPad here. I'm gonna put that URL in and I'm gonna launch the dashboard. Now here is the dashboard. Here, you're gonna to have to add your um, whatever you use for streaming, whether that's OBS or Streamlabs or whatever. So I just added OBS Studio. It's already in, look. Um, let's see what else they've got. Let's see if they've got Streamlabs. No, they don't. But there, there's, look, there's a there's a, a massive list of um, different things that they've got. There's Streamcast. Let's see if they've got Wirecast. Not Wirecast. You can have a look. We'll definitely have whatever you need here. Okay, so I chose OBS Studio. Um, and because it's already linked up to my IP address, the status is okay. And you must have OBS already open for that status to show okay. If your OBS is not open, it'll keep saying that there's an error. It needs to um, sync up with your OBS. So it says, okay, so let's start looking at our buttons. Now, not presets, buttons. Now, I've already got two, but I, I, I saved two buttons, um, my start stream and stop stream, but I deleted all the rest. So let's look at start stream and stop stream. All I did was put in my text here. I chose my color. And then I chose my action. Same for stop stream. Now, because we can't really test those because I don't want to start streaming while I'm filming, I'm going to show you um, how to set up your scenes. So let's start a new button. Click on new, a new button area. And here we're going to set button type. I'm going to choose regular button, but you'll see there's page up, page number and page down. That is for all of these um, toggle buttons, I guess you'd call them here. So basically this looks like a 32 button stream deck, but because of these, I think you get something like 99 buttons in total, but we're going to make a regular button. So my first scene, I'm not sure if you can see, but let's let, let me just switch uh, screens. Hold on. I'll show you. All right, so you'll see my first scene is starting soon. So let's make a starting soon button. So we'll come here, set button type, regular button, and then we're going to put starting soon. I'm going to choose any old random color. We'll choose purple. Um, I'm going to make my text black because it's easier to see on the video than it is the white for some reason. Then we're going to come down to our action. So we want to change the scene, right? For example, if I press on starting soon, um, I'll want to change my scene from whatever scene I'm on onto starting soon. Um, if I start my stream like this, I'm obviously not in the starting soon screen. So, so let's choose change scene. You can look through all the various, the various um, choices, actions, but you can also type in here if you know what you want. So change scene. So the scene we want is starting soon. 
So when I press my button, if I press the starting soon button, it's just going to go straight to the starting soon screen. Um, and that's it. So let's now look at the iPad. It's been added to the iPad. You can see the purple button is the starting soon button. So we're just gonna press this. Rattle. And that is my starting soon screen. So let me click back because we've not Rattle. sorted out a, a scene for the one that we're doing at the minute. So that's your starting soon one. Let's add uh, my next scene is just chatting, the scene that I started this video with. So again, regular button. Um, we'll call it just chatting. If I can spell. Then let's make it, uh, I don't know, blue. Make the text black again. And again, the action is change scene. And the scene is just chatting. Okay, so it has now appeared on my iPad. And I'm going to press the just chatting screen, so we'll, I'll see you on the other side. Rattle. There you go. Pretty simple. So now we're actually in my game screen. So I'm going to click back and we're going to choose, we're going to make a game Rattle. screen button. So in this empty area here, I'm going to set button type, regular button, actions, change scene. And the scene that we want is my game screen. So we don't want latch. Um, pink, I guess. I call it game and have the text black. And again, just press, uh, let's go to just chatting back to game. Rattle. Now we'll go back to game. Rattle. There you go, really simple. I'm going to show you now how to uh, toggle things on and off. So let's choose this button to toggle off um, camera. So set button type, regular button. Um, let's call it cam on, off. It's pretty straightforward. We'll make the text black and we'll make the background, I don't know, yellow. So rather than change scene, obviously it's different. So we want to toggle visibility. So let's put in visibility. There we go. Toggle visibility scene item. So at the minute we're in game. So let's choose game. Or actually you can leave it at um, the default, it just defaults to current scene. So that's what we should have done, but let's choose game for now. You can leave it as a, as a default, it'll work on all scenes then. So the source we're using, what, for some reason, this is called, oh, it's video capture device. I thought it was something odd. I've got so many, so many blooming sources. Uh, but you can't type this one out, so you have to scroll through, unfortunately. If you can see it, shout. <laughs> video, there we go, video capture device. So we want to be able to toggle it on and off. If you choose true or false, um, that means you're gonna have to set up buttons, different buttons for on and off, because true is on and false is off, etc. But we just wanna to toggle, okay? So I'm gonna to choose toggle. All right, let's test it out. So we're gonna try cam on and off. Cam off. Cam on. And again, let's choose, um, let's do one for mute mic. I've got an XLR mic, it doesn't have a, mute button sadly it's attached to a mixer that also doesn't have a mute button so when I need to mute my audio from my mic I'm having to scroll through my sources and um, click on and off via OBS which is annoying to say the least so let's try and make a button for us that works so we're gonna set button type regular button mic mute um, we're gonna make it orange Make the text black so we can see. Um, the source actually already says set source mute because I've been messing about with it earlier on. But um, let's 
just see what we've got available. So I'm going to choose toggle sauce mute. Now my sauce, you can't scroll through the sauces for this one, but um, you just put the exact name as your sauce in here. My mic sauce is called Mike Stroke Orbs for some reason. Um, and now this should hopefully toggle the mic on and off. So you'll see our button here and I'm going to press it. Hopefully. Come. Hopefully now you can hear what I'm saying. So that's just your toggle off mute on and off for your mic. And there's so many things that you can do. Like I said, there's 99 buttons. Um, let's see what else they've got. Let's look in our, in our actions. So you've got um, trigger device to lock, unlock. You've got um, button text, text color you can change. We're using a button. Uh, you can restart companion if it crashes, enable studio mode, which is really useful for uh, people like me who use this for broadcast. Uh, obviously you start streaming, stop streaming, change scenes, preview scenes if you've got studio mode, uh, change your transition type, um, mess around with your stream settings, volume, you can um, start output, stop output, all different kinds of things that you can do. Again, there's 99 buttons. It's so much easier than the Lioran board and I cannot thank the Lioran board guys enough. They do so much, but for people like me, who are not as tech savvy, this is a very, very, very good um, alternative. Um, they have a Facebook group if you've got any questions, if you're stuck with um, setting it up, but really it is idiot proof. So yeah, free stream deck um, via your iPad. Good luck.